Every time we come across a structure of unimaginable proportions, staggering accuracy of engineering brilliance, and artistically decorated with many brilliant conceptions that suggest thousands of people all possessed the same set of skills to such accuracy where you could be forgiven for implying that these places were in fact built with technology rather than the hands-on approach. The truth, of course, is notably expressed through myth. The great deception was to place the truth within ancient text, and within these texts, the dots are joining up. In Hindu mythology, for example, within the epic Mahabharata, there is a machine that is described that could have been responsible for creating such places like the Kailasa Temple, which is said to have been carved from the top to the bottom. That's impossible, right? For this to have been done by humans alone would appear to be impossible, but in the very ancient times, the time of the gods, the golden period, a universal tool existed belonging to Lord Brahma, the creator of the world. This device is known as the Brahmastra. Just wait till you hear this. In Hinduism, the word Astra means supernatural tool or weapon. Although different versions of this technology was said to have existed, it is not thought they were of the same magnitude, even though some were thought to be more powerful at certain tasks. The intentions for each Astra are varied from one god to another. In the wrong hands, the device could be used to conquer, to destroy. But what if its original intention was to create? The structures of this world are obviously of incredible proportions. Is it possible that these types of technology were used to carve, move, and even sculpt majestic sites across India and similar tools into the broader world in the very remote past? As described in a number of prana, divine stories of the gods, it was considered as a very destructive weapon. It is said that when it was discharged, there was neither a counterattack nor a defense that could stop it, except by another Brahmastra. It never missed its mark and had to be used with very specific intent, and the user would have to display immense mental concentration. This description of a supernatural device is clear evidence of lost technology from a lost period in history. The Indian epic describes a war or a great battle. These Astra tools eventually became weapons. Brahma was the creator, Vishnu the protector, and Shiva the destroyer. You don't need to look hard in India to see creation or destruction, but we also see preservation and protection. This could be a very fine balance in which the gods intended to stop the scales from tipping in any one people's favor. Just a thought. Interestingly, it is thought that Nikola Tesla also developed the technology described in the Mahabharata in the form of his death ray weapon. What do you guys think of the ancient technology described in these texts? Comments below and thank you for watching.